Oh, oh, oh nice so coach, you get in the middle. Oh, no, no. Get in the middle right here, coach. Uh, we gotta protect uh, you. No, no, sit down there. Okay. Can we trade? Get it right, coach. Huh? Can we trade? Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Just take this. Let's do that one, two, three thing. <laughs> See if they can get it. <laughs> coach, why don't you start us off? Give us a, an opening statement. What do you, you think of the game out there today? Oh, I was uh, mostly right now. I'm really, really excited that we won the game. You know that was. Uh, that's the ultimate goal, and uh, I thought that was hard fought. I thought that, you know, we we uh, we we seem to do a lot of good things and then kind of shoot ourselves in the foot and then kind of fight back from it. I thought that we never we never let up one bit. There was a ton of great uh, defensive stops, defensive plays, defensive playing that really really turned the tide, and I thought we ended up getting a little stronger offensively in the second half to get enough points to win the game. That's about what we accomplished with, uh, with our offense. So, uh, yeah, no, it was, gr it was great to win. And what we have remembered is these games are all pretty hard. You know, we had a good team and a good record a year ago, and they were all pretty hard wins, and that was what this one was. All right, let's open it up. We've got questions. Eric, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know. You know that those things are really hard, hard to answer as far as why it took that long. I think the reason it did Pittsburgh. We found this a, a year ago, and I know it's true. They've got one of the best defensive fronts. They play real hard. And we had a hard time running the ball against them, and we're not far enough enough along with you know with our passing game to really m make them hurt right now. We we've had heck, we've got two guys that we have four receivers, and two of them have been here for less than two weeks. <laughs> so you know it is it's been hard to get any rhythm going. So it it's it's but I what, one thing we did today is defensively we played like crazy, and offensively we kept playing hard. And that is much appreciated. That's how we got the win. Uh, Chris, just Coach mentioned you guys got out there defensively. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot of chirping out there. <laughs> what I can see from the press box, it seems like your energy was just carrying defense. Can you speak about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, any anybody on defense, we all try to play with energy. You know, we feed off each other. That's. That's what playing defense is all about. You know, nobody's rooting for your defense. You know, nobody watches the game and, and roots for the defense to perform well. So, you know, we, we go into every game feeling like <clears throat> it's our backs against the wall and we only got each other to, to lean on. So anytime we could we could pull some energy from anybody, you know, we definitely gonna do it. You know, it's not just myself, you know, guys like Paris, uh, Hines, everybody to be honest. You know, anytime we can get any type of spark, we just need to keep it going, try to feed that fire, to be honest. And then how big was the goal line stand just in terms of what it was? Yeah, that was huge. You know, that was huge. You know, we knew this was going to be a defensive game. You know, like Coach was saying, that, you know, they, they have a pretty good defense as well. <clears throat> and we wanted to show that, that we were the better defense. You know, no, no shot at them at all. But, you know, that's what you want to do every week. And then just playing a game of football, <coughs> you can't expect every phase of, the, of your team to dominate. You know, sometimes, you know, we're going to need our offense to pick us up. Sometimes we're going to need special teams to create that spark for us. You know, today it happened to fall on defensive shoulders, but I'm just glad that we were there to, you know, help the team. That was beautiful. Cam, uh, Cam last year primarily a kick returner. This year you got nine grabs and a touchdown. Yeah, Luke. Talk about what it's like to be contributing offensively to this year. Um, man, I just, I'm just blessed to be able to earn Coach Riley and Coach Smith's trust just to be out there, honestly. Um, you know, it's uh, come into the year with a lot of, you know, how are we going to replace Turf? How are we going to replace the MVP? Well, um, it's a collective group. You know, it's the whole receiving core as a whole. That's how we're going to replace them. And, um, and just to be honest with you, man, it's just it's just a blessing to be out here and a blessing to be able to play for Coach Riley again. Thanks, Cam. Cam, Coach Riley, real quick. Was anything said at halftime? The guys looked a lot different in the second half uh, than they did in the first. Was there anything specific mm -hmm. that you I don't. I don't think so. The half times are too, too short to <laughs> come up with much. <laughs> we, but I. I like I said. I'm really proud of these guys, and these are two guys that 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 kind of heart and soul of our team, you know. And and so, it's and it's really fun for me 
to have guys back from a year ago, you know, so we can build on, you know, kind of a history with this team. So we're, uh, like I said, we're glad to get the win, uh, and we're looking forward to, you know, getting the preparation going to try to get another one this next week. Kim, I was just going to ask you about the touchdown. You got a big block by Nicholas Alonso. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what did you see on that play? Did, did you anticipate it kind of opening up like that? Uh, well, funny thing is, before we even broke the huddle, Zoe told me, he was like, man, just dip and slip, which is what <laughs> we talk about in meetings all the time is, you know, dip and slip, you know, dip inside to go back outside. And, you know, I just trust Zoe and I, I trust the code to put it there. And, and I just did my 111th. You know, they got their block, they did the pass, and I just finished it off. So you want to set that kind of great advantage? Absolutely, you absolutely. You know, anytime you dip and slip, you want to, you know what I'm saying, make them feel like you're going inside to go back out. Uh, Coach, Chris, you can hop in to defensively. What do you feel like is the, what do you think was the, the main factor? Was it, was it getting to the quarterback? Was it the turnovers? Or was it the, the red zone defense? <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to pick. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a combination of them all, to be honest. Yeah. You know, that's what, that's what playing defense is about. <clears throat> you have to stop the run. Um, once you stop the run and you make a team one dimensional and they start throwing the ball, that's when you can get exotic with your rushes and get after the quarterback. That's where the turnovers start start happening. And then our mindset when it, when anybody gets to the red zone, no matter how they got it got there, is they don't leave with more than a field goal. So that's that's just the goal. You know, you kind of got to flip your mind. Even if you give up a big shot down the field, you got to hurry up and reset and say, only thing they can get down here is a field goal. We're not letting them in the end zone. But yeah, that was a that was a that was a big time stop, man. We got a great front. I love our our <coughs> line. Keep us clean. Help us, you know, make those plays and. We needed it today, for sure. Thank you all for being here. Way to go. Thank you all. Take it care of you. Somebody else coming? Somebody else?